Well, I'm back in Germany, and I'm going to circle back here and take a look at what happened while I was gone. Uh, basically, what happened was I was accused of being racist. And primarily, first of all, you will be accused of being racist if you are white, especially, and if you discuss race. Now, not if you discuss the fact that the NBA is made up mostly of black people, because they tend to be better basketball players. You won't get accused of racism with that. If you mention crime stats, you will be accused of racism, which is what happened to me. Now, quite honestly, I don't care. I don't care what this mob of idiots and losers have been tweeting and messaging at me. It's amusing to me. And the reason I want to address it is because this is not an isolated event. The fact that they have scapegoated me and have attacked the messenger once again, typical progressive bullshit, typical just throw out a racism card. It's all nonsense, but it's interesting to dissect how and why they are wrong. Because this is a trend that goes on over and over again. It's not just on the issue of race. It's on any issue that is uncomfortable. So that is Islam. That is the issue of race and crime. It's anything that is going to confront them, and they feel like they just need to squash the messenger. Because they are uncomfortable. They are guilty. I love the lack of self-awareness when these people, on some level, I think they're sort of aware that they have guilt, white guilt, but they, I don't think they understand it. I think it's too deep for them to even get. I think it's so, it's so ingrained in everything they do. They just ooze white guilt. It's the core of their worldview. So, let's analyze. Why was I called a racist? It comes down to the quote mine that the drunken peasants paused on my video. First of all, they watched about six, seven minutes of my video, which was a... Twenty-five minute video. So already you can sort of see where this is going. And they paused it on a certain point where I said the following. Jacqueline Glenn said, people that are black are often treated unfairly. To which I made the point, what? Oh, cry me a river. Maybe they should stop dealing with cops. Maybe they should stop committing crimes. Now they pause the video there and they take issue with that. So, which is startling. I don't know how you take issue with maybe they should stop committing crimes. First of all, you notice that I don't deny that police brutality is a real thing. I'm trying to suggest that they have zero perspective on this topic, and that the proportion of concern they have over police brutality is nowhere in line with their concern over black crime. And black violence. This is a bizarre and completely out of touch with the reality stance that they are taking. Which is why the following thing I say, which you don't hear, it gets muffled, is how about you mention that in the sentence? Which is to say, people that are black are often treated unfairly, and I'm suggesting, why don't you mention, wouldn't we all be able to take you more seriously, if in the same sentence you mentioned, acknowledged the fact that black people are committing huge numbers of crimes? And that is why they are upping their chances of having non-satisfactory encounters with police, because they are constantly committing crimes. See, and now, 
now you have to throw out all the caveats once again because all these liberal social justice freaks all they hear is oh is he saying all blacks is he saying this or that no i'm saying the exact number of black people who are actually committing crimes that's who i'm talking to so when i say maybe they should stop committing crimes i'm not referring to all black people i'm not referring to will smith and President Obama. I'm referring to the black people who are committing crimes. Maybe they should stop. I also love, how do you take an issue with that? What is the alternative to that? Maybe they should not stop committing crimes? You're in favor of black crime. It's astonishing. The shit is astonishing. And the numbers are not close. This is what I'm talking about for all you science geeks out there who want to see all the graphs and all the stats. Here it is, okay? The secret is out in case you've been blind, willfully blind, to the obvious fact that the black community perpetrates way more crime, especially violent crime. Here's a figure. Homicide offending rates by race from 1980 to 2008. Now here's a little point I'd like you to pay attention to. This is per capita. You fucking idiots. Do you know how many people out there have no concept of what per capita means? You would be amazed. I will do an entire video on the number of comments I got where these loser fanboys of the drunken peasants would come onto my channel and are like, I did a Google search and I found out that white people committed more crimes overall. Totally oblivious to the fact that there are more white people in the country. Vastly more. Look at this graph. Just look at it. Let's just breathe this in. Look at this graph. I mean, this is checkmate shit right here. And it gets even worse than this. When you consider, originally I had said stuff like 13.2% of the nation, which is black, commit 53% of the murders. It's actually way worse than that because it's not 13.2%. That includes all black people. 